Been traveling these wide roads for so long. My heart's been so. Uh, David, not only quickest uh, in round three, but you're also the master of uh, the grill. What are, what are you actually cooking? I'm doing a put in the pan. Uh, he's, that's he's cooking that nothing. Pan. I'm cooking, okay? They said put in the pan on the menu, and that's what's been served here tonight as well. So uh, yeah, I'm 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 trying to do Frederick's job here because I <laughs> I thought he didn't do it good enough, so he burned the whole shit. <laughs> uh, yeah. So anyway, um, tell us about uh, your day. Obviously, uh, running out the day in style, but two second places before then. Yeah, I mean, I was uh, I was feeling confident the whole day. Uh, just in the second one, I had a silly mistake uh, towards the end there that cost me the TQ to Ongaro. In the first one, uh, I had two crashes, I think, I w as well. Uh, I mean, the track bites you out there, so you really have to be be patient on the line. And the slower you go, it seems like, the faster you, the, the lap times are. So in the last one, I, I had a mindset to go out there and, and try to do a r clean run. Two laps in or three laps, I, I made a crash before the loop, and I was... I was pretty pissed about that, and I saw Ongaro was kind of cruising away from me there because I was two, three cars behind behind him uh, in the heat. So after my crash, I, I just told myself to to keep pushing, uh, try to catch him because I knew if I get him and he makes no mistake, it will be a decent time for for the order overall. And and yeah, I I drove really good after that mistake. I had no no mistake. Every lap was in 40, uh, and I even finished off with two 39 second laps. So. Yeah, super happy with the performance of the car and the package, and uh, yeah, looking forward to continue that tomorrow. Elliot, TQ of round one, and then uh, slightly maybe disappointing results, but all in all, pretty good day though. Uh, yeah, it started off pretty good. Um, we was actually, well, I was quite shocked when um, we got TQ in the first round. Didn't feel that great, and uh, it kind of continued on that way really. Um, the track was changing every run. I think it was like six hours between one run, so the track was completely different. Uh, so we've been kind of like chasing our towel a bit, really, with set up. Um, every run we've been like changing so much stuff and tyres and just trying to get the right right for uh, for me. So we still got a bit of work to do. We're uh, working on the car now. We've got a plan to try something else again tomorrow. Um, different tyres and hopefully it goes better. Are you getting any inspiration from Ongaro with his moto style tyres or is that just you know something that works for him? Well yeah I mean I've uh, I've had a history with them tyres, <laughs> I've used them before um, but now um, we don't we don't have anything like that so we've got to try and uh, come up with some other ideas um, I'm gonna try something I've got like uh, some tyres coming for me for tomorrow that I'm gonna try and hopefully it be uh, a bit more easier to drive for me. Davide, how was your day? Good, good, really good. Yeah. Yes. You had fun in uh, round two. Yes. Did you? We. Your tires are very special, very big tires. Is it the secret? Yes. Uh, for me, the car working better on the bumps uh, with this tire, but I'm really happy for the result of today. Hello. How was your day? Uh, beginning was quite good. The shakedown, the car was uh, super, super nice. First qualifying at the beginning was awesome. I was comfortable and supposed to be easy to drive <laughs> but, but I crashed in the last two laps so I just finished seventh or something on the second one was more tricky so it was also okay and I again crashed on the last lap so <laughs> I was so bad and in the last one was good quite good I just started driving like if it was a semi-final or something so I, I was trying to be comfortable but my car just blew up on the concrete. I don't know why. I really don't know why. I have to go to see where is the bomb or whatever. Yeah. Overall, I feel I feel good. I feel I had a good speed. Not not making 39s like David did, but at least 40s, 40s, half 40s. So it's okay. But we'll see. We'll see tomorrow. Some people, a lot of people, send me it's gonna rain. Yeah, we've been looking at the apps. It's maybe a chance. It's kind of clouding over already. I, I hope all of you are grown. So, <laughs> yeah, I cross my fingers. It seems like every time we come and speak to you, you're climbing higher and higher the the ladder of the heat list. That's the idea. That's the point of racing, isn't it? I think so. Yeah, the idea is to obviously finish well. Yeah, finish well. Yes, no pun unintended. Unintended. So tell me the secret. Have you been cutting tires? You've given up cutting tires. You're just uh, coloring them? I mean, I cut my impacts. 
see here, inside, outside, yeah. millions of pins here on the ground. Littering. It was, it. it was worth it. It was a lot of work, but the car was easier to drive. Good. So now we've given away your secret. No, well, you kind of gave it away because you took pictures and posted them. I saw them. I did. So uh, actually, Carlos Duraj, he came over and he, he looked at my tires and then he cut his tires and went faster. I think he beat me, so shame on you. No, not shame on me. You showed me. That's shame on you. Yeah, I guess. Anyway, you must be like super happy. Like it's going super good. Yep, so far so good. I mean, I was pretty confident in my car before I came here because I came here for the warm up and stayed to practice and it was good. And I've run the same setup on many different tracks. And the thing with me is I need to have a car that I know so I'm comfortable with it. I can't adapt, so I don't like changing a lot of stuff. So I'm sticking with what I know. I've run the same tires pretty much the whole time, just cut some pins because when I change stuff, I'll start making mistakes because I, I can't adapt like the top guys can. So I'm confident in my car, my tires, everything, and I'll just keep on driving. So aside from the driving and the racing, what's actually going on in the event? I'm thinking more about blog material here. What's, what's behind the scenes? What's the gossip? You know, not much, not much. I've been gluing tires and sitting here, so I haven't heard much gossip. I haven't really heard much. You missed the big drama today. Uh, was there drama? A big drama. A missed lap or something else? Big drama. I missed it completely. Gotta go, you got to ask a few people. Because I haven't been writing my blog every day, I'm outside the loop immediately, see? When I was writing every day, I was like thinking about it, like, hmm. You know, the loop is live. Oh, let's not go there. No comments. Yeah, that's like immediately just like done, interview. Okay, well, we'll catch up with you tomorrow. Yeah, okay.